Hi all, welcome to the MicroPython tutorial series part 2 video. So in this video, we will be interfacing multiple modules with ESP32 board using MicroPython code. So in the first tutorial, we will be interfacing OLED display with ESP32. In the second tutorial, we will be interfacing dsa 3 b 20 temperature sensor with ESP32. In the third part, we will be interfacing the same sensor with ESP32 with OLED display. And in the fourth part, we will be creating a web server using dsa 3 b 20 temperature sensor and ESP32 and we will be displaying the temperature data on web page. But before beginning this tutorial, I like to highly recommend you please watch the previous getting started tutorial video on MicroPython with ESP32. So now let's begin with the project. <laughs> Before beginning, I would like to request you please subscribe my channel and hit the notification icon so that you can receive the MicroPython videos notification. So now the thing is choosing the right board. So I purchased MakePython ESP32 board from MakerFabs.com. You can visit their website and purchase this board. It cost only $13. Now the advantage of this board is this board has 1.3 inch I2C OLED display inbuilt with the board. So the board has the same ESP32 chips from Expressive system. To learn about this board, watch the previous video. Now let's begin with the tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be interfacing OLED display with ESP32. So just open MicroPyCraft ID, open a new file, and then paste this code. This code is for creating SSD1306 OLED display library. So save this file as the name ssd1306.py and then click on ok and save the location for saving it and then just connect the esp32 board to pycraft ide by clicking this icon and then click the upload button so once you click download and run button the file will be successfully uploaded now create another tab and paste another code. Now this code has a simple display command. So we will be displaying this line. Similarly we are defining the I2C pins of OLED display. In my case the I2C pin is 5 and 4. In ZDEC ESP32 board the pins are 22 and 21. Save this file as the name main.py. So once you save it now you can successfully upload. So click the download and run button. So once you click the download and run button, you can see the OLED display immediately displaying the command or the line or whatever the command you have given it to display. Now let us move to the second part of the tutorial. So let's interface ds 18 b 20 with ESP32. So here is a circuit diagram one with the ESP32 board and other with the make python ESP32 board. In both of the cases, we are using 4.7k pull up register. So open micropycraft id, create a new tab and paste this code. So we are importing some of the variables and then we are defining the pin 22 as the pin for ds 18 b 20 Using this line, we are calculating the temperature and this line will scan whether the sensor is connected or not and then it will display the sensor ID. So all this command will just display the temperature from ds 18 b 20 on the cell window. So save this file with the name main.py and then click OK. Now connect this ESP32 board to the computer and then just click the download and run button. So you can see the device ID is displayed along with the temperature that is around 29.56 so in this way you can simply interface ds 18 b 20 with ESP32 now let's move to the third tutorial we will be displaying the same temperature on OLED display so we have attached an extra OLED display to the ESP32 board but in case of make python there is already an OLED display so here first we need to import the SSD1306 library so for this, just copy this code and then paste it to a MicroPyCraft ID, save with the name ssd1306.py. 
and then simply click on download and run button so once you click it the file will be successfully downloaded to sp32 board now create another tab in this tab paste the code for ds18v20 and save this file as the name main.py now again click the download and run button as soon as you click on download and run button you can see the OLED display start displaying the room temperature you can change the temperature value by providing heat to the DS18V sensor so this is how we display the temperature on OLED display now let's display the temperature on web page by creating a web server so now for this again open a new file and then paste this code this contains the all the information regarding the code and the Wi-Fi SSID and password please change it from here and all are the network credentials which will help the ESP32 configure to the network save this file as the name boot.py now boot file is necessary because as soon as the ESP32 board is connected it will automatically boot into it using this file save this and then upload it to the ESP32 board by clicking the same download and run button now open a new tab here we are creating a web page now this web page will be obtained from any web browser like Google Chrome or any UC browser or mobile browser so save this with the name main.py click OK and then download it and run it so as soon as you download it and run it the console window will start showing the IP address so here is the IP address 192.168.43.170 copy it open any of the web browser in my case I am opening the chrome browser hit enter so you can see the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit is displayed so that's all about the today's video hope you like this video please hit like button and subscribe my channel thank you for watching